All right, folks, so these new sets were announced recently within the past couple of days. We have an Iron Spider figure as well as a Green Goblin figure. Now, I really wanted to take a look at these and just share my thoughts because I think they are kind of interesting, at least compared to the other construction figures that LEGO has come out with within the past couple of years. I like these ones a lot more. Or I at least like what they have going for them. I'm going to start with the Green Goblin one because I think this one is the most interesting. This is the first time that LEGO has created, um, a, you know, a Sam Raimi Green Goblin with the mask on in probably one or two decades since back when the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man came out. So I think it's really interesting that they're just coming out with this kind of out of nowhere. First impressions though, I like the way that they build up the armor. All of these different slope pieces add a lot of texture to it. Um, the glider included obviously is, is important to include adds a lot more to the piece count. It's only $5 more than the Iron Spider though. This one sits at $35 while the Iron Spider sits at $30. So not too bad. The armor though, I think the armor looks good. The face print looks good. The only thing I'm nervous about there is the shaping around the side. So we're gonna have to take a look at that. Box art, yeah, not too bad. Clearly it can be posed in some different manners. Looks very menacing, I like it. I like those little sword pieces. I haven't seen those used in forever. Originally those were used in the castle days for the troll uh, the troll figure's weapons. I like that they're being reused here. See, without the glider though, it, do it doesn't look the best ever, but that's okay, it includes the glider, so I'm not worried about that. I wonder if they include two separate sets of pumpkin bombs or if there's just two overall, and you can attach them either on the back or in the hands. That's interesting. I also wonder if this, this looks like it's part of the glider. It doesn't look like it's a stand. I do think it'd be cool if this had like a, a stand so it could look like it's flying, whether it be clear or black. I think that could be beneficial. It's a decent size. It's not, it's, it's decent. Yeah, it's not too bad. See the shaping there, yeah, it's not actually horrible. I think that this mask, as opposed to a lot of the other ones, l works really well with uh, with the way that they're using it here. I think it's not too bad, actually. Yeah, that's not too bad. I, I might consider getting it, honestly. Yeah, around the side, like the shaping actually works. It works, and I think it's because it's it's a it's a helmet. And if it were an actual face, if it were like the comic Green Goblin, it would not work at all. I appreciate they tried to get some tiling around the back here too. That's usually the worst part of these figures is the back, and it's not the worst ever. Um, but it's still very flat. I don't know how they could really fix that. Yeah, overall, it's not too bad. Let's take a look at that Iron Spider one. Oh, this one as well does have, let's see, 471 pieces. So if we're looking at price to part ratio, it's good. But look at all those small slope pieces, a lot of small pieces throughout there. So I don't think that's the only factor to consider in that regard. Um, if we go back to Iron Spider here, this one sits at $30 in terms of price. Oh yeah, 303 pieces. If you're looking at price to part ratio, it's like right on the mark, right on the mark. I do like the way that they created these, uh, these mandibles coming around the side, the little arms. I like how slim they are. They're very slim and I honestly think that works. They're not too thick. Um, I wonder how delicate they are though. That's my question. I think this figure actually looks pretty good though. A lot better. The, the more I look at it, the better it looks. I don't like how they have that little webbing there because I don't know if they actually included webbing for him to shoot, which will be interesting to see maybe in a couple moments. I'm not sh so sure if the helmet mold works as well with Spider-Man because you don't have a lot going around on the back. You can detach that. That's good. Awesome. Yeah, there's not really any webs that are included for him to shoot, at least from what I can see. Are there no videos for this one either? Oh, no, there are. There are. Yeah, I'm not so sure that the face works as well for this one because you can clearly see that indent right there. Um, around the back, it's very flat on the back, but that was probably to account for the mandibles, the arms going around the side. Overall, not horrible, but I definitely think the Green Goblin figure is the star of the show when it comes to it. Yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, I just wanted to take a look at those two, give you my thoughts on them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you plan on getting them or do you plan on passing these up? Thanks for watching, guys.